Hey there. Backslasher and I are having an interesting debate back and forth. It's not heated or anything. It's just an interesting discussion about trying to get theists who believe in things that are damaging to them, like a fear of eternal damnation and all that sort of shit, um, trying to get them out of that mode. Um, and talking about how peer pressure is a good method of doing this. My problem with this is that most of the time when atheists try to get theists to see something, it's through a lot of degradating comments. It's through basically telling someone they're stupid, they're ignorant, they're, uh, that they're believing in figments of their imagination, and it's, it's through all these things that are just very, very negative. And if it doesn't take, if these things that are being said to the theists don't take, if the interventions don't work, then the person is left with a worse self-esteem. And this is the problem I have with, with talking, you know, with trying to get people to change even if they're not doing anything negative to anybody. It has to be, in order for it to be fruitful in a way that doesn't hurt someone, you know, it would have to be done in a way where you're trying to be positive and say, well, you don't need that. Look, you can do all this stuff on your own. You, you're capable of so many things in, through positivity. But that's rarely how it's done. Rarely how it's done. You know, it has to be done either that way or it has to be done when the person is ready to question their beliefs or if the person is putting their beliefs on a dissection table, so to speak. You know, those, are the, those, those are the only times that it has the potential to be positive. You know, going around telling theists that they're stupid or they're idiotic or they're delusional, what, what good do you think that does? What good do you think it does? Do you think that's going to help their self-esteem? Do you think that's going to make them feel good about themselves? Now, sure, sometimes in order to have realizations, there is some pain. But when you are the one that is causing someone pain, and it's not just an issue of them thinking about their beliefs, really thinking about it, it's just this thing of, well, you're a bad person because you believe in these things. How is that supposed to have a positive result? You know? I know for myself, it was a very, getting fully out of this, this mode was, was a very negative experience. And a lot of people were, were really, they were being quite negative to me. Um, now, I was in a mode of questioning things, but there are a number of things that people could have told me that would have gotten me to see this stuff that wouldn't have been so damn negative. And again, most of it has to do with, look at all these things you're, you are capable of. You don't need a higher power to do these things. You don't need a higher power to make improvements on yourself. You don't need to thank some higher power because you achieved something. There are so many ways that can be gone about to be positive in the way that you try to get someone to see what they're capable of. Then to just, I mean, so this is where I'm against doing interventions on theists, you know, unless you find some positive way to go about it, all you're potentially doing is hurting the person. Anyway, that's all I've got to say.